Hello and welcome to this lesson on calculating speed. Speed is a measurement of distance traveled in a specific time. Speed is often measured in kilometers per hour or in meters per second. Let's calculate the speed a car was traveling if it drove 50 kilometers in half an hour. Our answer needs to be given in kilometers per hour. We would say 50 kilometers over or divided by half an hour. This is the same as 50 times 2 and gives an answer of 100 kilometers per hour. We can see that to find the speed, we need to work with distance and time. This leads us to the formula for speed. Speed equals distance divided by time or S equals D over T. Let's do an example to see how this formula works. If we know that a vehicle traveled 200 kilometers in two and a half hours, can we work out the vehicle's average speed? We need to start with the formula for speed. This says that S equals D divided by T. Now we will replace the D with the value 200 and the T with 2,5. Dividing the 200 kilometers by 2,5 hours gives us a speed of 80 kilometers per hour. It is important to remember to include the units in your answer. Now, what happens if we know the speed of a vehicle, the distance it has traveled, and we want to work out how long it has taken to cover the distance? By rearranging the formula, we can always work out one of the variables if we have the other two. Let's see how this works. We already know that speed equals distance divided by time. We want to rearrange the formula to read time equals something. We can multiply both sides of the equation by time. The equation now reads t times s equals D divided by T times T. This leaves us the following. Speed times time equals distance or S T equals D. We could use this formula if we have the speed and time and need to know the distance. To get T by itself, we divide both sides by S. This means that time is equal to distance divided by speed. The three formula we can use in speed, distance, and time problems are speed equals distance divided by time, distance equals speed times time, time is equal to distance divided by speed. Let's do an example to practice using these formulae. If a car is going at 90 kilometers per hour for three hours, how far will it travel? In this example, we need the distance, so we need the formula that reads D equals S times T. The speed was 90 kilometers per hour and the time was three hours. Using our calculator, we get the answer of 270 kilometers. It is important to know how to calculate speed, distance, and time using these formulae. Often, we are asked to calculate the costs associated with travel. Let's take a look at an example that involves a cost. Sally wants to drive to Durban, which is 600 kilometers away. Her car uses 11,2 liters of fuel per 100 kilometers. How much does the trip cost if a liter of fuel is 11 rand 85 cents? For this question, we know the distance and we have a rate of usage for the fuel. We need to work out how much fuel the entire journey needs. We know that Sally's car uses 11,2 liters of petrol for every 100 kilometers traveled. This means that the first thing we need to work out is how many sets of 100 kilometers are there in the journey. We divide the total trip of 600 kilometers by the 100 kilometers. This gives us 6. Now that we found that the car will travel 100 kilometers 6 times, we can calculate the amount of fuel used. 
the car uses 11,2 litres of fuel per 100 kilometres. Multiply this by 6 and we find that the car will use a total of 67,2 litres of fuel. To work out the cost, we need to multiply the number of litres by the cost, which is 11 rand 85 per litre. We multiply 67.2 by 11.85 and we get an answer of 796 rands and 32 cents. I hope she remembers to save some money for the trip back home or that will be one long weekend. Thank you for joining us, Grade 11s. Remember to look at the tasks for this section in the Using Measurement Tasks video. You'll also be able to learn more about measurement on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.